hi today we are going to talk about factors and multiples i knew i knew math might not sound like a party but trust me this is going to be fun three friends decided to throw a party but isa was thinking of inviting factors and multiples at their party Henry was talking about the factors that factors are like those friends who come in pairs and fit together perfectly. Deetia was talking about multiples that multiples are like those friends who keep inviting more people at the party. Now factors. What are factors? The numbers that are multiplied to get a product are called factors so when we multiply two numbers we get the numbers we multiply are the factors we get the product but the product is not the factor the numbers we are multiplying together those numbers are the factors or we can say factors are the numbers that divide the given number without leaving a remainder that when we divide the two numbers and we have the remainder zero then we call the factors Let's see an example here. We have two multiply three. Two threes are six. Where two is multiplicand, three is multiplier, and six is product. Here two and three are the factors. The multiplicand and multiplier are called the factors. So you can see the first definition here. The numbers that are multiplied. To get a product are called factors. This multiplicand and multiplier are the numbers. these are the factors okay moving further the question is write all factors of 20 so we have to write the factors of 20 and we have to write all the factors we'll do the factors with two methods that is multiplication method and the rainbow method you can only use either one method as well now in multiplication method we always start writing factors with one so we'll check Twenty comes in one table. Yes, obviously it comes. Every table comes in one table. So we'll write first factor one multiplied twenty is equal to twenty. Now we'll check to the two that twenty comes in two table. Yes, twenty comes in two table. After one, what comes two? Then two tens are twenty. After that, we'll check three. In three table, twenty comes. No, it doesn't come. Now we'll skip the three then. Now in four table twenty comes yes it comes so four fives are twenty. Now we have written four fives are twenty. After that uh, we'll check for five five fours are twenty. Now where we'll stop because number do not end. So for that we'll stop at the number where we have the repetition like four fives are twenty. And after that we are getting number five fours are twenty. These two numbers are repeating. They're just changing their order, so this means we have to stop here exactly. So we'll not check further. We'll stop here. So one twenties are twenty, two tens are twenty, four fives are twenty. After that, five fours are twenty will come. That will not right. Why? Because it's the repetition. So in the rainbow method, you just need to make these rainbows. Here first you'll write multi. Second, then the multiply on the other side, like one twenties are twenty, two tens are twenty, four fives are twenty. This way we got the factors. So in multiplication method, the factors are one, two, four, and five, ten, and twenty. And here you can see the factors written here. So factors of twenty are one, two, four, five, ten, and twenty. Let's see the properties of factors now. The first property one is the smallest factor of every number. So when we start writing factor of any number, we always write one twenty is a twenty, one thirty is a thirty. So we are, the first factor will be one only. So one is the smallest factor of any number. The number itself is the greatest factor of any number. That whatever the number is, it will be the greatest factor because after that. The, there will be no factor so it is the number itself is the greater factor of any number a factor of a number is always less than or equal to the number 
whatever the factors are, they'll always less than the number, the given number. Like we have to find the factors of 20. For that, the factors will always be less than 20 only. Now, factors of a number are finite. They are finite. They are not like unlimited. We can count them with four, five or six, whatever the number is. So, factors are finite. Zero cannot be a factor of any number. Zero is not a factor of any number. Okay, we have done with the property. The smallest factor, greatest factor, the factor is always less than finite and zero is not the factor of any number. These are the properties of factors. Moving further, now let's see one more example of factors. That is, we have to find the factors of 40 this time. Again, we'll do the first multiplication and rainbow method. First multiplication method will start writing 40 from 1. Like in 1, where 40 comes. 1, 40 is a 40. So every factor when we are writing, we always start with 1. So 1, 40 is our 40. Next, check for 2. When 2 table 40 comes, yes, 40 is an even number. It will come in 2 table. So we'll write 2 20s are 40. Now check for 3. In 3 table 40 comes, it doesn't come. Now let's check for 4 table. In 4 table 40 comes, 4 tens are 40. Yes, it comes. Now in 5 table, yes, it comes because last digit is 0. We'll do the divisibility rules also. From there, you can guess easily that in which table it comes on, in which it doesn't. So 5, it will come in the table of 5. So 5 eights are 40. In table of 6, it doesn't come. 7, no. What about 8? Yes. 8, it will come. 8 fives are 40. But here you can see that 8 fives are 40, repetition of 5 eights are 40. So it means we not write 8 fives are 40. We need to stay up here. We'll not go to 10, 9, 10 to check the factors of 40. We have to stop here where repetition occurs. Like 5 eights are 40, 8 fives are, it means we need to stop here only. So we have written the multiplication method factors. So factors are 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20 and 40. Now for the rainbow method, we'll start writing multiplicand and multiplier. 1, 40 is a 40, 2, 20 is a 40, 4, 10 is a 40, 5, Aids are 40. So we have written the factors of 40 here. That is 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20 and 40. Let's see one more example of factors. Factors of 24. So pause the video. Just write yourself the factors in your notebook. Then you check with me that your factors are correct or not. Okay, let me start. We'll do the, both the methods, that is multiplication and the rainbow method. In multiplication or either in the rainbow, we always start with 1. So, 124 is our 24. This, is, this step is always same in all the factors. Now, second. In 2 table, 24 comes. Yes, it comes. So, 2 twelves are 24. In 3 table, yes. 3 eights are 24. In 4 table, yes. 4, 6 are 24, 5 table, no, 6 table, yes, 6, 4 are 24. But we have to stop here because 4, 6, we have already written 4, 6 are 24. Then repetition occurs, 6, 4 are 24. It means we'll not write 6, 4 are 24, but yes, we'll stop here. Now the rainbow method. Again, multiplicand and multiplier, you'll write 1, 24 are 24. 2 12s are 24, 3 8s are 24, 4 6 are 24. So we got the factors of 20 that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. So factors are very easy. So it's just the multiplicand and the multiplier or we can say that the number when we divide, we get remainder as 0. These are the two definitions of factors. Now common factors. Common factors are the factors shared between two or more given numbers. They are very easy. Let's see an example. We have to find common factors 35 and 25. It's clear from the name only. We'll first find the factors of 35. We'll find the factors of 25. And then whatever the common will be, that will be the common factors. So we'll make a table for that. Factors of 35 on one side. Factors of 25 on other side. Factors of 35 will start writing from 1. 135 to 35. 2 table, it doesn't come. 3 table, no. 4 table, no. 5 table, yes. 5, 7, the 35. 
Next six table, no, seven, yes, seven, fives are 35. The repetition occurs, will stop here. So factors of 35 will be one, five, seven, and 35. Now factors of 25. So again, we'll first table will be same, 125, 25, and two table doesn't come, three, no, four, no, five, yes, five, five, the 25. Now, whenever we have the repeated numbers here, then also we'll stop. So we'll stop in the two condition, either the order changes, or either we have the rep repetition. So we'll stop here. So one, five, we'll write only one time five and not the two times. One, five and 25 are the factors of 25. Now common factors. Now we'll see what are the common in these two. You can see one, the red ones are common. The five is common, seven is not there, 25 and 35 is not. So the common factors are one and five. So we got the answer. So this way you can find the common factors very easily. You just need to find the factor of both. Even if they say find the factors of any three numbers, what you'll do, you'll find the factors of three, you'll make the columns, find the factor of the three numbers and whatever the common and the three of them will be, you'll write the common factors as well. Okay, now it's your time to do some workout. Pause the video, answer in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, all about math, subscribe it. Okay, multiples. A multiple is a product that we get when one number is multiplied by another number. So multiple is the product, the answer we get. When we multiply one number with another, that are the factors. And when we get the answer, the product, that is a multiple. Now again, we have the example here, seven twos are 14. 7 is multiplicand, 2 is multiply and 14 is product. We already know 7 and 2 are the factors and 14, the product, is the multiple. So now we are clear with that. Multiplicand and multiply are the factors and the product is the multiple. Now let's see the examples of multiples. The question is write first 5 multiples of 7. So we just write the table of seven. We'll, multiples means you're writing the table. So we'll write the table of seven till five. We we'll always start the multiples with itself. Like, like in factors, we'll start with, we we'll always start with one. But here we start with seven. Seven ones are seven. Seven twos are 14. Seven threes are 21. Seven fours are 28. Seven fives are 35. We just write the table of seven here. The answer, the product. Now, the question is write fifth multiple of nine. Fifth multiple of nine. Fifth multiple means we'll multiply nine with five and we'll get the answer. So nine fives are 45. So 45 is our answer. So you just need to mul multiple means you're multiplying fifth multiple five and nine. Remember the difference here. Here I have written write first five multiples. When they're saying multiples, you'll write the table of seven till five. But if this fifth multiple, only one multiple you have to write it, means you have to multiply it nine with five and you get the answer. It could be sixth multiple of, it could be seven multiple of, but remember multiples and multiple is a different thing. Now here again, the question write first six multiples of 10. Six multiple of 10, multiples of 10 means you'll write the 10 table till six. 10 ones are 10, 10 twos are 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 till 60. So you have written the six multiples of 10 here. Now we'll see the properties of multiples. First is multiples of a number are infinite. So multiples are always infinite. Like in the example also, we have seen if we can write the table of seven till infinity. A multiple is always greater than or equal to the given number. So multiple is always greater than we always start the multiple with the same number. It 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 it, it increases day, uh, every step. So it, it means multiple is always greater than or equal to the given number. Every number is a multiple of one. Zero is considered a multiple of every number. So these are the properties of multiples. Now common multiples. As we have done the common factors, same are the common multiples. Common multiples are the multiples shared between two or more given numbers. Let's see an example. Understand with that. Write the first two common multiples of 8 and 12. 
So first we'll write the multiples of eight. That is, we'll write table of eight. We'll write table of twelve. But here we do not know where till where we have to write. We have to write till there until we get the first two common multiples. We got something common eight in eight and twelve. So the table multiples of eight, multiples of twelve. So write the table of eight. I have written the table of eight till ten. Then the table of twelve, and there I start. And stop here at eighty four because I got the two common multiples here. First one is twenty four. First multiple and the second is seventy two. So common multiples are twenty four and seventy two. So common multiples are also very easy. Just the common between the two. Now it's your time to work out. Solve this question. Answer it in the comment section. I'll check it later. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notifications for our upcoming videos.